On this Make It Once video, I get my rattle can action on. So I spent all this time de-rusting and cleaning uh, the calipers up and I'm overhauling them. So I figured uh, the badge of honor for doing all that work myself, uh, since I, this is the first time that I did it, is I'm going to actually paint them blue. Right, most brakes are red, but this is a Swedish car, so I'm gonna go with blue. So let me take you into my spray booth. It's just a box, and so I think I'm just gonna um, give, give the calipers one more scrub with a nylon brush, get some alcohol over it to get all the dust off, paint off the areas I don't want painted, and then just do you know a quick light coat, get them blue, protect it from future rust, and just have it look good. Honestly, California, these parts don't rust. Um, this is more just aesthetics, like I say, a badge of honor, just for the fun of it. Uh, let's walk through that process. So I went in with the wire brush and brake cleaner three or four more times. There was a lot more grime on it than I thought. I thought the, the iron was discolored, but it wasn't. There was still a layer of stuff. There's a little bit on there. I think the paint will stick to most of it. As long as you get to this shiny metal, you're good. Went in, started masking it, covered all the inside. I don't need any of that painted. Covering the mounting surfaces, the, the ports, and the bleeder screws. Um, some of this stuff, uh, like the brake, pin holes and things like that I'll be able to kind of ream them afterwards um, and I'm just going to do a light light paint job on this so the main surface is going to be the outside which is this side there's not a, too much to cover up on that so I just want it to look good protect it from rust kind of get this these interior surfaces that get pretty beat So I think I've gotten them ready to paint. Um, it's reversible somewhat, you can just scrape it off if needed. So as long as you don't get any paint inside any of the holes, you should be good. I'm gonna put on some rubber gloves. I'm gonna put on a respirator for sure to protect against the paint. And then I'm gonna back the camera all the way out. Here we go.
one of the issues with using blue tape and blue paint is that you can't really see where the paint and the tape end. So I'm just going to have to get in there really careful. I've done it before, you can kind of tell, but um, it is kind of an issue. I do like this color blue. It's coming out pretty well. So we'll let it dry, flip it over, do the other side, and pretty much be done.